Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another product review video. Small package, but we're packing a punch here. Company is SmartRow, and this is a temperature and humidity monitor. Runs off batteries, it's magnetic. You can put it on your refrigerator. You can set it up on the countertop. Let me read a couple specs for you guys real quickly. Model is SC42. Temperature range is negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. Humidity range monitors from 1% to 99% RH. You will need two AAA batteries that it does not come with it. So if you do order this, make sure that you have AAA batteries, again, two of those. And the product dimensions are three and a half inches by three and a half inches by 1.1 inch. One touch to illuminate the backlight. So just like all my product review videos in the description box below is it gonna be this exact same product. You can read more about it, pick one up yourself and make that decision. You guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, your link will be right below the video as well. Let's head on over here and see what we got. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out you're the first to know all right let's get it out of the package here we have our little welcome packet we have a little instruction manual and we have the temperature and humidity monitor there go ahead and pull the plastic off of course and let's go ahead and get that guy on up there let's take a closer look before we do put some batteries in it and we do have a little hook on there if you wanted to mount it like that or two magnets over here right and left the set up the down Celsius or Fahrenheit Fahrenheit. And again, two AAA batteries right in the back here. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features here. It looks like by default, we are in Fahrenheit and obviously holding it in my hand might fluctuate the temperature and whatnot a little bit because I'm putting my hand right over the sensor. But let's go ahead and put on the touch right there, that little light touch that illuminates the display there, as we can see. To save battery, it looks like it turns off after about seven to eight seconds or so. And something I noticed as well on the back here, if you don't want it magnetized or on your wall hanger, you do have your little flip out for your countertop if you rather have it sitting on your countertop like this here. And again, you just touch the top of it here for your display. So you do have your different options for mounting. I like it magnetized, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on my fridge here, stainless steel. And let's go ahead and talk over some of these features here. This right here is gonna be the highest humidity record right there, that's gonna store it right there. This would be the low for a 24 hour period. This would be your record time span right there. This is gonna be your humidity level sensor right through here, low, okay, or high. You can't see it because I put in some fresh batteries, but there is a low battery indicator that pops in between these here. And we have the high temperature and the low temperature, and obviously the current humidity and the current temperature here. The instruction manual actually says to keep this out of direct sunlight or up against a heated object, because obviously that will mess around with the temperature sensor. My refrigerator door, obviously stainless steel is cool to the touch, but there's no cold air blowing into my sensors. Obviously, if I had my freezer door open, it might blow some cold air and fluctuate just for a little bit. So I'll leave it up to you where you wanna place your sensor. For some reason, if you do need to, calibrate it. It says it right here in the instructions, but it also says no extra calibration is required before using. But if you do calibrate it and you pop out the batteries and replace the batteries, it will remove the calibration. But upon first use, there is no calibration. So what's nice again is you can come over to it and go ahead and hit that, lights up. Let's see if it turns off. I think it stays on until you hit the button again. You can see the trend. The trend is going sideways there. And then it turns off there. We'll go ahead and hit that again. All right, so I have it up next to my God bless this house magnet. And we're looking fantastic here. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run and keep our eye on it. Well guys, I've been using it. Very simple device, but very nice as well. Sometimes it is nice to realize what the temperature is, etc. Let's go ahead and come on down here for comparison to this one here. Right here, it says temperature is 70 degrees, 55% humidity, obviously on the right hand side here. And we're gonna come up here to same thing, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 59% humidity. It's off a little bit, that one is 4% less. But again, we are on the refrigerator here. 
up a little bit higher. This one is tucked into a corner here. So very accurate. And if you guys wanna read more about this, pick one up yourself, look in the description box below for your links. Hit that thumbs up button if it has helped you make an informed decision. We'll see you guys on the next review. Also subscribe, take care, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.